This is a $100 million mega mansion, and it's right. possibly the most luxurious house ever built by mankind. And we're gonna be comparing living in this house to living in this $69 million art house that's built to withstand a literal tsunami. A $30 million palace with its very own water park, and everything in between, all the way down to this $1 barely functioning house. More of a shed. Well, it's only a dollar. Why does this house cost a dollar? Yeah, we get another storm. It's probably going to go into the water. Uh -huh. So it's worth a dollar for me to just to get rid of it. So you would say this is a horrible investment for me? Yes, indeed. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> what are the odds I fall through? Pretty high. <laughs> Bro, these are wobbly. I like how that chair is just like holding on for real life. We have a recliner, a mattress, and half a floor. I can literally fish from inside of the house. Yo, I caught one. Whoa. That's just a lure, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> now that you see us having fun, do you regret selling it? I do not. What if I gave you $2 to buy back off me? No. Nope. All right, I tried. I have an idea. Let's get out of this house. Later in this video, we have a house that costs 100 million times more than this. And because I never plan on setting foot in this worthless shack again, Let's head over to something. Oh, Bro, they just killed that man. <laughs> they just a little nicer. Speaking of which, we're at the million dollar house, which technically means you need to be a millionaire to buy this house. Let's show you how a millionaire lives. My first impression is it's way bigger than my house. When you pay a million dollars, you get a pretty good sized kitchen, along with four bedrooms that look normal, but they keep going because this bedroom has a closet here, which leads into a bathroom that is bigger than a one dollar house. This bathtub is gigantic. I'm six foot five and I could fit in this perfectly comfortably. And Wait a minute. What is that? Is that, is that the bathtub? Is that the bathtub? Why do they why would you have a jet go right? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep comfortable. And even though the bathrooms are all stocked with bidets, oh my god! <laughs> the best seat in the house is definitely downstairs. Oh snap! You have a movie theater. Dude, these chairs are massage chairs. Wait, what? <laughs> these chairs each have two remotes. Two remotes. On top of the movie theater, there's also an I gotta get a massage chair, dude. Arcade. I was not expecting all these features for $1 million. Yo, this house is awesome. I'd have so much more friends if I owned a place like this. And ending with the pool, which comes complete with this unnecessary waterfall. Overall, I'd say this was a pretty fun house to live in. But of course, we're all here to see the richest of the rich. And that's why up next, we have the 15 million. Well, I just died. Cause, so I just, I just got nuked right now is what happened. Okay, I'm gonna say this once in the chat. All right, I'm gonna say this one time. All right, I do not care what your personal opinions are towards Chris, okay? Here in the chat, you everyone's going to be respectful, period. Okay? This is not Twitter. Okay? This is not TikTok. This is not Facebook. It ain't going to happen here. All right? Everyone's going to be respectful, or we're going to put the chat in member-only mode. That's how it's going to be. Period. Okay? It's very, very easy in life to not be a jerk. It's very, very easy to just be nice. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Let's keep going. <clears throat> 15 million dollar house. Are you pushing? Okay. Oh my God. Dad mode activated. I know, y'all made me go dad mode here. Jeez, man. I don't belong here. This looks like the house that you try to get to in GTA. That view is crazy. The pool is much smaller than the one million dollar house, but you can- I feel like I would fall off and like die. You know what I mean? Literally oversee all of LA. Help! Hey! Hey! Stop, stop, go inside. I need new friends. Let's check out the house. The person who owns this house, what do you think he does for a living? Mm, NFTs. He's a lawyer. This guy was the top attorney in 2017 and the number one lawyer what? in 2021. Apparently that's all it takes to afford this house. <laughs> it appears a note was left for us. Dear Mr. Beast, 
Thank you for visiting my home. You have given me the ultimate gift. I have a trump card with my kids forever. Aww. Also, please don't eat any of the sandwiches. They are very sacred to me, and my family's been passing it down from generation to generation. Got it. Down or up? Down. Down it is. Okay, now it's starting to look nice. The lower floor of this man- Okay. Which... Which house, if you guys could have one for free, Chat, I'm gonna put it in member only mode. I'm gonna put it in member only mode. Don't make me put it in member only mode. I will put it in member only mode. If it, it, this this is not Twitter, all right, we're not gonna tolerate that kind of stuff here. All right, we will put it in member only mode. Okay. Last warning. Last warning. Okay. Mansion comes with its very own movie theater and personal gym. This treadmill requires a passcode to use. 6969. Six, it's not 6969. Six, nine, six, nine. A guest bedroom, entertainment area, and a bar where the owner left us a Bro, bunch- they have four TVs? Why do you need four TVs side by side? Of free food. Guys, before you eat anything. Yep. What if he left this out so he could sue us for eating his- well, too late now, Carl ate it. And an incredible underground view of the swimming pool. Yeah! Woo! Nolan's trying to swim in the background for- Okay, chat, we're gonna put it in member only mode, all right? I know not everyone's being disrespectful, but there's a lot of people being disrespectful, and I don't like people being disrespectful, so we're gonna put it in member only mode while we watch this video, and that's what we're gonna do. And if there's any members that are being disrespectful, you're going to get banned. It's really that simple. All right. Just sit back and enjoy the video. That's all there is to it. Just sit back and enjoy the video. It's I will literally I there is going to be no disrespect. Period. Just sit back and enjoy the video. Okay? And stop getting your pants in a twist. All right? Everything's going to be okay. Okay. Thank you. For the shot. <laughs> I don't think you realize we stopped filming you. Back again? Yeah, do it one more time. And now, a master bedroom with another crazy view. Carl, come here. You missed. We got another one. Oh, hey, you missed again. Oh, wait, no, stop it. No one stop. <laughs> this cushion also. <laughs> Isn't the water like going out of the, going out of the pool? Stop throwing the cushion! If it goes over the edge, he might sue me. And so, to avoid being handed court papers, we decided to fly all the way across the country to Massachusetts. Bro, I am so dead. I'm like right there. I am dead. It's all for the thirty million dollar house. This extraordinary sixteen bedroom estate has four different buildings. In the main house, there are multiple living rooms. But this one is the best of the living rooms. This place is haunted. I would not. Nope. Nope. This place is... This place is haunted. And... If you go there, you, you're... Dude, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna see, like, an old guy from, like, the 1700s sitting in your room. It just, it ain't, it ain't happening. And this property. This is grand. What is this? The Oval Office. What book would you expect here besides The Way to Wealth by Benjamin Franklin? Girl made the light bulb and a book? Well, Edison made the light bulb, not Ben Franklin. What the hell did Ben Franklin do? I'm gonna read this book. <laughs> <laughs> Past the living room and the office was the grand kitchen, where the owner had left a little gift for us. The owner of this place got rich making candles, so he made us custom Mr. Beast candles. That one smells like the beach. It does. How do they put the beach in a candle? And to top off the house's main building, Chandler discovered that... She can pick golf balls off. Oh, you know these people. Look, in order to play golf, you either have to A, be really old, like over the, like, okay, well, not really old, but you have to be over 50, or B, you have to be rich. Like, I've never seen someone not in those categories playing golf. Like, you, 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 that's how you know. That's how you know. Off the roof. Or, but that's not even close to the coolest thing about this place. Because next door is a garage filled with exotic cars. This looks like a garage out of a video game. They got Lamborghinis on top of Lamborghinis. It's like a 
why do you need this many cars? Like, I never understood that either. It's like, what are you going to do? Like, oh, man, I got to go to Walmart. Let me, uh, which car am I going to drive to Walmart today? I don't know, man. Jesus. A candy store for adults. And the best part is this is just one of two car garages. Follow me. There's more? Bro, there's more cars in here than the other one. Holy crap. Crap. All right, now I am convinced if we steal a car, he would not notice. How do you even buy these cars? Hey, I want three of the same ones. It's like a full-time job to buy this many cars. There's stairs in the corner. Let's see where they go. Bro, this is like a closet with cars. Underneath the car garage is another army of cars. They should really invest in a light switch down here. They have 20 cars down here, but no lights. <gasps> Did Wait, I? No, no way. way. No. <gasps> oh! I gotta get that. I gotta get that. I gotta get that, dude. We. I gotta have that, dude. Imagine you're in bed and you're about to go to sleep and you just go like, and the lights turn off, dude. That's why there wasn't a light switch. I was like, who can afford to shove 30 cars in their basement but not electricity? Now, don't get me wrong. All of the rooms in this house have been awesome so far. But if I owned it, I don't think I would ever leave this next building. This is awesome. That's right, for some just ungodly reason, whoever built this place thought it would be a good idea to install an entire indoor tennis court. I just want to remind you that we are playing tennis inside a house. I also have no idea how to play tennis. Gang squad, follow me. What? No way. Two-story arcade. The arcade in this house is actually 20 times bigger than the one in the $1 million house. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, that that's got to come off the wall man and that is terrifying that is so creepy oh my god house whoa but that's not all bro this place literally has everything all right i'm never leaving we're playing ping pong in a basketball court in a house First try, baby. All the features of the $30 million house have been pretty cool, but this next room is what makes this place truly special. Head up these stairs for the best part of the estate. What you really want to see is right over here. Look at this. This is an indoor water park. Whoa. There's like a whole nother world in here. Look how far back the drone is, and it's still going. Go have fun, but don't break anything. Roger that. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta text Carl and tell him the next time he does this to invite me because I wanna come. Just give me one second. Let me let me text Carl real quick. Hey Carl, next time you go to a thirty million dollar house, please invite me. I would like to come. XOXOXO. There we go. Love that. Love that. Love that, love that. I'm gonna say this one more time because I before I start banning people, because I see people in the chat, guys. I don't care what your personal feelings are, one way or the other, okay? All right. But we're literally watching a YouTube video. If you feel the need to spam the chat, if you are if you are this angsty over it, please go outside. Everything's gonna be fine. Just sit back, enjoy the video everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay all right let's just sit back and enjoy the video okay thank you thank you we're gonna enjoy the water park i'll see you at the next house the only bad news is it's across the entire country i know they're living my dream too i know i gotta do that i gotta do that the good news is it's a 45 million dollar mega mansion whoa what? oh my gosh this is like the most open house they have grass on their wall. House I've ever been in. What? I don't know what majestic thing this is, but it's beautiful. As you can. How do, wait? Do they have to mow the grass on their wall? Do they? How do they? Wait, 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 wait! I have so many questions. Wait, do they have to mow the grass that's on their wall, dude? 
I'm so confused. As you can probably tell, these houses are starting to get so expensive, I don't even know how to describe them anymore. Honestly, lost for words. This is quite possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I called in multi-billionaire Mark Cuban to help us out. How's it going? Hey, good to see this place. How's it going, little man? Nice Mark's Sorry. also the proud- Grass is fake. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. ...owner of the Dallas Mavericks basketball team. And because this house has its very own basketball court, you could imagine we got a little distracted. Ah, Jimmy won't make it. Buckets. <laughs> All right, just steal it from Carl. Hit that! No shot. We get those! Yes! Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Easy layup, bud. Yeah! There we go. Next point wins. Oh, you hit it. Game winner. Oh, no. Yeah! yeah. Get Way it. to dominate, Jakers. Now we're gonna show Mark around the rest of the house. Now that we're all sweaty. To find out if he thought it was worth the steep $45 million price tag. In case you're wondering, we didn't go swimming. You know, it looks like I did go swimming. <laughs> How much do they want for this house? 45. You know, we're, gonna watch, uh, we're gonna watch the steak thing. We got 15 minutes, yeah, yeah. Not uh, worth it? Because it's Brentwood, that's probably half of it. Is Brentwood what that is? No. <laughs> the neighborhood. <laughs> I also thought he was talking about the wood in the house. Wood. That's funny. This bathroom over here is nice. Do you have a couch in your bathroom? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Okay. We need to get on Mark's level. The number one rule is you have to have a heated seat. That's it? That feeling when you sit down and you get- It is not- Wait, they make heated toilet seats? Dude, I gotta get one of those. Cool. <laughs> I agree. You don't need to make billions to be happy. You just need to be able to afford a bidet. <laughs> in a heated toilet seat. Because that's where I spend most of my time. Well, even <laughs> though I'm sure Mark would love to spend more time here on the toilets, our time here has officially ran out. So, I'll see you guys at the next ah. house. Up next, we have a house whose price point happens to be a funny number. And now we are at the $69 billion mansion. That looks like a villain owns it. It does look villainous. <laughs> that looks like it's from Despicable Me. <laughs> How's this compared to your house, Miranda? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than mine. Is that iCarly? Would you rather live in the $1 house for, oh, wait. Would you rather live in the $1 house for $5 billion after five years? So if I live in the $1 house for five years, I get $5 billion? Uh, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I could live in the $1 house for five years. But $5 billion, that's a lot of dollars. <laughs> do I have to pay taxes on the $5 billion? That can't be true. What's your address? <laughs> the reason why this weird looking house can still go on the market for $69 million is because it's filled to the brim with priceless art and sculptures sourced from all around the world. Throw up how much these artworks are worth and we're going to try to guess it. How much do you think this is worth? I'm going to say 100000 What do you think, Miranda? I'm going to go with eighty. Oh, she has one of these in her house. <laughs> yeah, I have one. Only you know the actual price. Oh, wait, actually, this one will be a fun one. I'm going to go with a million dollars, because it's like right down the opening stairs. That's a piece of wood that's colored red, and it's worth $500,000? Am I missing something here? I'm so confused. Did George Washington color that or something? I'm so confused, dude. Like, what is going on? That 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 square block is five hundred thousand dollars. So uh, four hundred and fifty thousand. Very precise. Very specific. <laughs> the thirty million dollar house had a water park, a hundred cars. This place just has artwork. Big red sculpture thing. This room over here, we promised them thirty times we wouldn't touch what's in it. Come over here. No touching anything. Yeah, so what yeah. is it? This is a one-of-one, -one, fully analog, custom home sound system made by the creator of the Walkman, which was one of the first devices that allowed you to listen to music while walking. That's an impressive thing to have under your belt to made the Walkman. I don't think you could fit this under your belt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's traverse across the skywalk. Oh my god, I'm excited. Another reason. Bro, if you tripped and fell, you would die. Like, this house is so tall. If you tripped and fell, it'd be over. The reason why this house is built so strange, for example, having to walk across sky bridges to get anywhere, is because it's been meticulously built to be able to withstand the force of a real tsunami. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Wow. You can see the tsunami. I mean, that's what they said about the Titanic, too. So I, I don't know how I feel about that. It's before they hit your house and you stop them. <laughs> <laughs> what completes the view is uh, the neighbor's backyard. You can see all of it. What if the man who lives here is secretly in love with the person that lives next door? <laughs> That's his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> it's a Romeo and Juliet. And after checking out the last two rooms inside, I had a surprise waiting for us outside. Look over there. What? 
Dude's nuts. <laughs> did you guys even notice the planes drawing that? No. <laughs> How on earth did they do that? I paid these planes and also bought a thousand billboards all across America to let everyone know that Feastables is the best tasting chocolate you can buy. Stop eating Hershey's and other Boomer brands. Feastables is modern chocolate. Also, because Halloween's coming up and all these retailers use- I have a legitimate question for you guys. Okay, this is a serious question. Okay. Does your school allow you this is going to sound funny. Does, okay. How do I phrase this in a way that's not funny? So if, okay. How many, <laughs> I can't, I can't say this without it being funny. Uh, how many people have eaten these nuts in, in, okay. Now it's just, now it sounds weird. Um, okay. Like, like, how do I phrase this? How many of you guys have eaten the candy bar at school? Because I imagine if I was in school, they probably wouldn't let me eat that candy bar because of, uh, because, you know, funny name. You know what I mean? Just say it a funny way. Yeah, yeah. Like how, you know what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Look, don't, 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 don't take it the weird way. Do you see here? We're now selling these bags of these smaller Feastables bars so you can give them out during trick or treating. If you don't want to be lame on Halloween, people, make sure you okay. give away Feastables to trick or treaters. Luckily, because like your teacher's like, oh, I just took your D's nuts bar. Or, hey, teacher, don't mind me. I'm just eating these nuts. You know, like, oh, what are you eating, Jimmy? Oh, nothing. I'm just eating these nuts. The art candy is very affordable, but you want to know what's not very affordable? The final house. Or should I say, the $139 million, arguably most luxurious house on the planet, Mega Mansion. This massive 36,000 square foot mansion has things you'd never see in any other house. From a nightclub, to a T-Rex, to an entire robotic car elevator, this place is going to blow your mind. And to make this house tour a little extra special, we brought Justin Timberlake. How you guys doing? And this is Justin's house. <laughs> He's gonna shut her. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy crap. You guys wanna know something crazy that Carl told me? This is actually wild. So apparently, so Carl told me that Justin Timberlake's son is a big fan. So Justin Timberlake's son, if you're watching right now, hi. If you live here, the next time I'm in L.A., I would love to stop by just to step foot in this house one time. Just one time. Crap. Have you ever seen a view better than this in your life? This is gorgeous. Yeah, man, you guys really, the CGI is perfect. It looks <laughs> real. A, a big fan of uh, Pixel Playground. Like Carl Jacobs and I are playing Roblox. Like, like, like us. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, maybe it's top 10. I, I'd put a top five. It's hard to describe just how big this mansion really is. It has 12 bedrooms and 17 bathrooms split across three massive stories, all with a perfect view of the Los Angeles skyline. I always judge a house by the kitchen. Minimalist kitchen. You judge these things, how are you feeling? Um, well, let's keep going. At the end of the tour, we'll get his opinion on if he would pay $100 million. He has it on standby if he likes it. Straight cash, homie. Everything in this house is built out of the most expensive materials on the planet. For example, the walls in this room are constructed entirely out of rare marble imported straight from Italy. You guys gotta get an estimate or something of how much marble is actually in this house. I mean, that's a, that's like custom done. Guys, I know who lives here, oh my God. Preston from Big Games. It's got to be his house, 100%. It's got to be. Has to be. Yeah, there's not a single thing of drywall in this entire house. Drywall? <laughs> That's a pretty sick chandelier. This chandelier is over a million dollars, and the ceiling literally started dipping because it weighs so many thousands of pounds. It really keeps going. You didn't tell me it was a million. I was playing with it earlier. There's literally six million dollars of just chandeliers in this house. And the rooms on the bottom floor get even better. There's a whole other house down here. If you come over here, I think this is literally an ice room. Is this where you lock me in? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yep. So, like, what are you doing here? They ran out of room ideas. Probably a 50% chance. I'm so confused. Why would you have a room that's just cold? We're locked in here because that doesn't have a handle. Oh no, we're good. That would have been oh. funny if we were. Oh, his face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real dinosaur? Now that you know the house has a dinosaur, are you more apt to buy it? <sighs> I'm still on the fence. Oh. <laughs>
What? Is this a locker room? No one currently owns this house, so they put name tags of the few people on the planet that can actually afford it. Warren Buffett's worth like 80 billion, Ellison's worth like 50 billion, Bezos like 100 billion. Chandler, why is your name not up here? Oh. Ooh. All right, let's check out the whips. No, no, you just posing. I'd just be sitting here. You really- I don't think I would want this house. I feel like this house is too big. You know, like there's just too much going on in this house, and I, I pretty much stay in. Uh, there's also match. there's also no basement. You know, there's no basement. The house. Thank you. I was I was going for that. Yeah. I was going for that. Job well done. No one's gonna go in the editing room and clip that. <laughs> <laughs> this 2.5 million dollar car elevator is one of the most insane features in the whole house. Basically, you select which car you want to drive on the tablet, and it literally sends it up two floors right into the garage. I know what you're thinking. The main problem with this is it only stores six Lamborghinis, and yeah. you needed like a, a ten car storage. <laughs> right. This house also had by far the big Oh my god. Bro, it has a snack room? Biggest home theater I Oh my god. I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. Whoa. This almost looks like a real movie theater. This is the best movie theater so far. And they're actually yeah, reclining chairs. It only costs 100 mil for that. <laughs> Check it out, Jimmy. Wait, what's it? Press my massage button? Oh, I got you. <laughs> hey, I don't need this. <laughs> Bro, where's my button? My chair's not even doing that. Here, switch. Let me see. Yeah, Chandler, test the massage feature. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it works. There's no way this is just the only one here. Man, this is crazy. Bro, what is wrong with them? All right, lead the way upstairs. This is a primary bedroom over here. We got four minutes until the stream. I know, we gotta hurry. We gotta oh, hurry. and then hurry. over here, the four bathrooms. Minutes, In minutes, case you've ever minutes. wanted to shower with 10 people, <laughs> <laughs> now you can. That's my thing, man. You can take a bath with no one, basically only yourself. But showering, you can fit an army in there. If that's what you're into. He is. <laughs> and now the best part of the house over at the pool. The real reason this house costs so much. I'm pressing it. Uh, is this a screen? It is absurdly large. And slow. It gives drama, though. It is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is very it gives a dramatic effect. Dude, you can watch a movie in the pool. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's a little bit of a flex. What a gorgeous view of LA. <laughs> yeah, imagine if the screensaver was LA. I think it is. it is. There's downtown LA, and there's downtown LA. For reference, Carl's like six foot five. Yeah, something like that, give or take. And look how tall the TV is compared to him. All right, Justin, you've seen the whole house. We need to know. Obviously, you have $100 million. Would you rather one billion dollar oh wait would you rather have a one billion dollar house or a five billion dollar house i'd have the five billion dollar house and then i would sell it for five billion dollars in cash sitting outside right are you gonna buy the house no one's shirt comes with it you don't like my shirt your shirt comes with it yes i'm in does does, does the bear that ripped up the shirt come with it <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Why? I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I think I liked the uh my favorite house was this one with the with the arcade and the water pool. That was my favorite one. That was my favorite one. All right.